G'day, it's Breck here, and this video can be summed up in three, four words. Gear Guts, Range Review, that's that's one word, there's a hyphen, and, and Monthly. So, I'm having a look at the products, or the models, or the creations, which Gear Guts has designed for the month of February. And before I do that, I just want to say that there is no sponsorship here. I'm doing this because I like the models, I like doing content, and I just think that the YouTube world needs to know more about Gear Guts. So there's that. There's all the disclaimers. Just thought I'd put that out in the open. I'm not getting any money for this. I just like the products. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go and have a look at this review. Oh, it rhymed. Before we have a look at these models, let's do a little bit of housekeeping first. Some of you may or may not be aware, you can get Gear Guts products all over the globe from three separate locations. What you will be seeing today will not be available on some stores just yet. If you are just after the STL, then you can go to Gear Guts Patreon and it's available right now. However, all the, both the STLs and the physical models won't be found on the Gear Guts North American site, that's gearguts.com. Uh, that won't be until the 1st of March, which is pretty soon. Is Unsure when Fully Cycled will have their stuff up, but it'll happen soon. Whereas those crafty little Australians, OTP Terrain, have most of what you'll see. I think the last week's releases won't be just yet. I hope that's all as clear as mud. Okay, let's have a look at these models. This is the Mega Walker C. And uh, what a fantastic looking beast he is. Ooh. Oh wow, just check out the, oh man, I really enjoy Gigax's detail, oh I have a detail, look I'm, and themes that sort of pop up, now you've got these orky glyphs on the face and on the leg, and yeah, just, just marvellous stuff, that, that Gatling cannon. It, it looks schmick. I, I, I think this would do very well on my table. And yeah, look. Well, that's the big thing. That'd be a good thing to put on your table. Oh, yeah, look. Uh, I'm almost lost for words, which is not very good when you're trying to talk on, 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 on a YouTube video. So let's go and have a look for something else. Okay, now these. Uh, assault shock troops things like that okay now we have here is hoarders or well, armored boozers so yes they look really really good yeah, they I think that if I was to get these I might use them as a Meganob or oh, they could be an hard boy really if you think about it and these are great I'm, this, there's a shooter, little rockets on the end, those claws are wicked, yeah look, fantastic stuff, and, oh man, definitely, I do love the, the shape, the, that's a, it's not as boxy as, some of the other counterparts do similar things might do but it's sort of organic and, and boxy at the same time barrels it's nice to see that you, there is some 
I don't know, scatter train, or maybe you can put it on, on some, some of the vehicles. Okay, now these little barrels and fuel tanks are uh, great. They would be really good to go on any of the, the wagons or the trucks that you may buy. They might even be good for some scatter terrain. I think the possibilities are endless here. Okay, some more fiddly bits. Now these are fantastic. Now these would definitely go on some of those blanker spots on vehicles. Which uh, is great for the bits. Well, everyone needs more bits. And uh, I do like the variety. So you can pick and choose if you, if you, if you need more exhausts on whatever beast you have. You might buy a bike and decide it needs another exhaust and stick that on. If not, yeah, look, this uh, I think this would be a kit basher's dream. Glyphs. Yeah, then these are, uh, yep, yeah, another, another thing, look, that we can use to put on blank spaces on vehicles or buildings. And there's a nice variety there. So doesn't really, yeah, look. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice well themed. You can have lots of fun putting those on, on the back of vehicles. Now they would have been good for my uh, goblin tank that I, that I did. So there's an old gear guts model. So they would be great to have on the back here. But I found something else. So if you've got a vehicle that has a bit of a blank spot, that's what these are for. Right now here is a boss. It's the Hick Boss. We'll be seeing a lot of Hicks in this video, and here is Hick Boss B, and he's bugging down a nice frosty cold one. Maybe it's Four Orcs Bitter, or maybe it's Foster's Lager. Who knows? Only he knows because he's drinking it. And yeah, this is great. He's Obviously got some really good control with that power claw, so not to crush the uh, beer, because that would be sort of kind of sad, wouldn't it? Yeah, very sad indeed. And I also noticed that he's got some shooters behind, so you can play him WYSIWYG, which is always a good thing. Oh, this, this is something that as soon as I saw, I fell in love. And that is the Hick Jump Buggy. And this is a beautiful, beautiful thing indeed. And uh, there is another photo of this going around. It's got the back end. So it's got the, the whirly gig that the Jump Buggy has. And don't those blades look menacing and ouchy. And you've got the, the appropriate weapons there. Uh, with the rockets and that, that I forgot the name of the gun, but it's there, you can use it, and this would be a wonderful thing to play. I, I want three of these, and I am going to get three of these in the not too distant future. Gee, look at this, this is a Hick Dacker Wagon A, and what a beautiful stuff! Oh, I would. I am enjoying the Hick range so far, and it's, yeah, the, the the front bit of the truck, the cabin looks great. I do like the, the seal panel over the top of the window. So the poor little orc driver, or is that the the Hick driver, won't get shot by any nasty humans or whatever shooting at him, and. Uh, and and look at that weapon, look at that, that big weapon. You can make some damage with that, can't you? And here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, look at that. They have a name, they're assault bruises, aren't they? They're bruises, they're hicks, and they've got whopping great big rockets stuck to their back so they can do some damage and look at that weapon it's like a double 
barrel revolver. Oh, I, I need that weapon. I really think I need that weapon. So, Gear Guts, if you are listening and you are going into bits, can you make that gun, please? Just a suggestion. Just putting it out there in the universe. Oh, look at that. Here they are again. And uh, they're, they're rocketless. They're beefy. They're, they're, they're shirtless. Definitely Hicks. And uh, they've got a chopper. And a slugger. And I, I love their little hats. You'd have some fun drawing on their little caps. I don't know. No, I'm not going to go where I was going. No politics in this video. And here we have it. The Hick Truck. Ah, oh, yeah, look. Hick Truck. Hick Truck A to be... If we're going to be technically... Te te technically. And here is Hick Truck A. A. It's fantastic fantastic things. I like this. I had noticed that on the socials that Gigas was getting a bit of flack because there was not enough detail on it. But then we have seen those glyphs and the barrels and the exhaust. You can add that in. Or if you're really good at freehand or want to have a go at freehand, then you can paint that, you can paint a nice little mural on the side. People I've talked to about this have mentioned the A-Team a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of these uh, in the colours of the A-Team. That'd be, that'd be great. And it would be good to get a couple of the Hicks together and set them up as the various folks in the A-Team. I love this truck. And here is the Hick Truck B, which personally I like it better. And why I like it better? Because it looks like a Ute. And being an Aussie, we love our Utes. And uh, even though we don't call them Hicks here, there are some people from the country who we drive who I can see them driving around in this shooting road signs as they go driving along yeah look this this is a wondrous beast and it is on my list of things to buy this is it's a, a nice big rig at the back and it can either come with the dacker wagon a or the or dacker wagon b and uh yeah nice big rig you definitely play around with this a lot Especially if you go for the Mad Max, well, Mad Max 2 type of film setting style palaver. Check this out. He's a mechanic of some sort, and I reckon that gun would be shockingly good at tearing through the reality that we know as it is. So, uh,. Yeah, wonderful stuff. Definitely a hick, you can tell, because he's got no sleeves. And like, but yeah. I'm, I'm liking this. You know who wouldn't like this? Goblins. More hicks. More hicks. And this time, they've got more of a rifle type shooter than, than a slugger and uh, assault gunners there uh, except for the fellow at the front he obviously has got some castanets he likes to play he's, he's, he probably thinks he's in a in a band and just wants to shake some things no no they, they look like bombs of some sort don't they yeah look I'm just 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 stop and look at this. I love the grins on these, on the face of, of these, these assault bruisers. They just, I actually like the grins on Gear Guts models in general, but 
these are great and I also like that the fellow up the front has his gun at the back so it's all WYSIWYG and that's always a good thing in my opinion and here we go more more of them but this time no fellow with his miraculous <laughs> sorry I'm just being a bit silly here aren't I and uh, oh, I'm not quite sure what else I can say that I said with the last lot uh, is it great the poses are fantastic I do love the bulgy muscles on the arms and I've always liked the uh, the wrist cuff that they have too it's fantastic for well I have been doing little checkers on them so it's great for that if you're the checker type you can put any sign you like on it after all your hobby Alright, here's some Horner bikers, and yeah, look at them, scooting along, okay, their, their, their tracks, the back wheel is, no, it's not their wheels, it's a bit hard to tell, I thought they were, oh, they're, they're track-like wheels, it's a, it's a hybrid of sorts, fantastic look well, yeah these the these are great and the exhaust coming out there's uh, some very different designs on the, the exhaust I do like how each of the bikes is different so the, the front end is different on all three which is which is great and the heads on the three hoarders also have slight variations to them and this is really good it just, it just goes to show how much um, detail is in Gearguts' mind when he creates these little beauties wow look at this beauty it's called a claw walker and yeah wow amazing it's just oh, it's got rocket launchers more rockets than you can poke a stick at and oh what a wondrous thing I suppose you could have four can you, you can put four what, four rockets on a on a dread so yeah I suppose you could you could do that uh, it's it's an interesting design and um, I know it's not but I see that head and I think or oh, the little mask oh, and where the head should be and I I think Tao and I know that it's not Tao and I know it looks nothing like Tao but that's the feeling that I get. It's this has got me speechless, which sometimes can be a good thing. All right, look at these little beauties, hunters, tank hunters is what they're called, and uh, yeah, we can see why, can't they? They got their rockets and their happy little grin, and they're about to bust themselves some tanks. Oh, yeah, look at that. This would go very well in my Death Skulls army. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> there isn't a lot of comedy in a lot of Gear Guts designs but when he does do them he does seem to reserve them for the goblins and these are mini walkers this is mini walkers C if you want to get precise with the Nam culture 
And yeah, look at that. Oh, I do like the one with the little, little wheels. But the tail has got legs. I suppose they could do the can can if they wanted. Except for the one at the back of the wheel. So no can can for him. And look at that. So they've got this these weapons. Uh, one little weapon each. And I think the one on my right is a is is a rocket of some sort. The one in the middle with the little pokey eyed goblin. That is that could be a custom blaster, I think. Yeah. Well, a variant of very similar. I do like the the trident. The trident of spy the driller the driller trident, that's what I'm gonna call it. It's probably not a name, but I'm gonna call it that anyway. And then you got old two arms wheelie boy over there. These are fantastic. These are great. Oh, is this thing on? Ah. Will the, will the Goblin Rebellion be televised on these little screens? Then one can only hope. Some little bit extras for you. That'd be great on the train, in buildings, on the back of trucks. Jeez, uh, the the possibilities are endless. And I have said it before, and I am going to say it again. I do like it now that Gigas is giving these little bits of things to make we can make vehicles a bit more interesting. And this definitely make make things interesting too, wouldn't it? Some more exhaust pipes, and there'd be engine bits B, I believe. If I've got this wrong, then you will see the writing come up across through the magic of editing. But having said that, some more engine bits to add to your vehicles. Or whatever you could if you wanted make a snorkel out of them for for one of the bruises or a fancy hat fancy hat for a goblin that'd be pretty that'd be pretty funny but anyway that's 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 my hobby ideas if you want to do it you can do it no judgment here Rockets! Rockets, rockets, rockets! We need more rockets! Now these, I believe, are the standard size of a rocket, so... If you're expecting bigger terrain pieces, no, it'll be a roundabout. Just so you can add on to, say, vehicles, or strapped to the back of a, of a boy or a goblin or something like that, but they're, they're generally the same size as a rocket would be, that's my understanding. If I've got it wrong, then just, I've got it wrong. Disregard everything I've said. Ooh. I'm trying to stop myself. I'm really, no, no, sorry, I've got to do it. This is a really good thing that Gigas has done. <laughs> sorry. Um, no, not sorry. I just, I just couldn't help myself. And this is the end of the video, so you can go and turn off now, you can. Uh, yeah, well, who doesn't need more wheels? Well, there you have it. Those are the great designs done by Gear Guts during the month of February. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, for two of the three stores across the globe, they won't be up on the website just yet. And the other one has part of what you saw on their website. That's as of today. If you're watching it in the last days of February, hopefully early March, things will be different. So what did you think? Which of those fine models did you like the most? Which one do you think you may buy? Tell me below. 
in the comments. Let's have a conversation. And if you are thinking about going over to one of the Giga stores and buying one of these fine models or any of the other fine models that they have in stock, well then, please, tell them that Brack sent you. Oh, and thanks for watching. I really hope you like this showcase. Or is it a review? Yeah, it's really a review, isn't it? If you did like, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't done so, hit that notification button so you can see more of my stuff when it comes out. Also, if you would like to support me financially, then you can do just like what these follows whose names appear on the screen right now. They have either subscribed to Patreon or have bought me a coffee on the Buy Me A Coffee app. The links are below in the description. Any donation would be muchly appreciated. All right, time for me to toddle off now. So I'm going to leave you with one more little nugget of wisdom. And that is, if you're going crumping, you got to bash early and bash often.